Alo, alo, my name is Sofia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 015. On my website you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 015. Task briefing. The image below is a screenshot taken from a CIA declassified document. It depicts a caption report of an undisclosed photo taken by an agent. The text mentions a telescope being assembled at factory. Your task is to find a a photo that matches the description on the caption report and b the exact location of where the telescope was placed once completed. You can click here to open the image on new window. So if you click there, you can see it's much, much bigger. You can now read all the details. And yes, in case some of you are wondering, this is really from a CIA declassified document. I got it from the CIA website. In terms of exercise level, I've marked the first question as beginners, perhaps medium level, and the second question hard. It may be not too hard, I'm not sure. For experts, I would say the first one is definitely easy, the second perhaps medium. It really depends on what route you took to get there. Okay, so let's focus on the first one first. So for that, let's read this caption report. It tells us that the photo accompanying this report was taken in Germany, specifically in Berlin. There's the coordinates as well. And the description says, telescope built at the Ascania factory for the University of Bonn, being assembled at factory. The field is 20 times the size of the Mount Palomar telescope. Camera is 20 feet, weigh three tons, stars of the 23rd size can be seen and allegedly the photo was taken on January 18, 1953. So there's already a few key points on this report that we're going to use. We have the what, we have the where, and we have the when. We know the what is the telescope, we have the where, which is Berlin, and we have the when, which is 1953. That's all we need. We just keep it simple. There's no need to overcomplicate. So let's just Google what we know. Again, we're going to Google the what, the where, and the when. And I have it copied here on my second screen, so I don't have to be typing in front of you because it's such a hassle. Here you go, we have telescope, Berlin, 1953. And enter, see what we get from that. Okay, brilliant. We can see that the first result is from an images website. They're probably stock images. And here we go, we have a telescope that matches our description. This was extremely easy. It was a bit too easy, if I'm being honest here. I thought it was a bit suspicious. <laughs> But we're going to compare the description of this photo on this website, which is for sale, with the description that we have from our caption report. So let's put them side by side. Here we go, we have them side by side. And here on this picture, it says this was from January 1st, 1953. So again, January 1953, the date is slightly different, but not by much. It says gigantic telescope built in Berlin factory. Okay, this matches as well. And it goes on and saying here, factory of Ascania for the University of Bonn, very interesting. And it says here as well, telescope stars of the 23rd since can be seen. Also, it says there, it says the field is 20 times bigger than of the Mount Palomar telescope. Also says there, size of the telescope camera is 20 feet. Also says there, and weigh three ton. Also says there. And like I said, I felt this was a bit too good to be true. There's a chance that this is the photo that the CIA agent took. So it would make sense that the description seen here is the same as seen here. But we have no way of verifying this because the only information we have about this from the CIA document is the description, is not the photo. So there's a chance this is the photo, maybe not. But I wanted to go for more photos just in case this was not the correct one. So we're going to just tweak our search a bit. So we're going to focus on the same thing again, the what, the when and the where, but we're going to change the where. So we started with Berlin and we're going now to use University of Bonn, which also is provided here on the caption report. We know that the photo was not taken at the university, but since it was the final destination, it's expected that at some point someone would have taken a photo of it. This means we can compare a photo of the telescope at its final destination, maybe, with the black and white photo we just found to see if they match. So basically, we're going to try to find another photo of this telescope to see does it match this one? Is this photo correct? So for that, we're going to go back to Google and instead of searching telescope Berlin 1953, we're going to search for telescope Bonn University 1953. So very similar, we're just changing the where. So there we go. And the first result, I just usually go for the first one. Really, there's no need to go for the like 10th page or anything. Usually it's going to be at the top. So the website starts with some information here about the observatory, 
has locations. There's four different locations and it starts with photos, which is great because we're looking for a photo of a telescope. Not any telescope, a telescope that matches the black and white photo we have. So if you keep on scrolling, we're going to find this one. And I'm going to put the picture side by side. I love to do that so you can see what I mean. And here we go, side by side. They are different sides, so you can see the right side and here you can see the left, but they seem to be symmetrical, so it's fine. You can see there's like a tube. I'm sorry, I do not have the technical information to describe a telescope, but there is a go. It has like a tube, probably a lens of some sort here. You can see on the side there's two things that look like doors. Again, I'm not sure how to describe. There's one there and there's one there as well. So they seem to be symmetrical again. And this massive round thing that seems to be holding it. And there you go, you can see it. So it's likely that yes, this is the same telescope. And if you read the caption, it says there, Schmidt Telescope Ascania of Berlin. Here we go, the keywords we're looking for, Ascania, Berlin, 1954. It also has here 1953, 1954. So it might be when it ended up here instead of being at the factory and it says the location of it. So great, this is brilliant. It is very likely that yes, this is the correct telescope that was being described by the CIA card report. So at this point we could stop, but I am very bad at knowing when to stop digging for stuff. So I kept on going because I just really wanted to find photos of people assembling this telescope and I was not too happy with this photo. But now what do we have now? We have extra information that we did not have before. We have this Schmidt telescopes. It's not just a telescope, it's Schmidt telescope. And what are we going to do with that? We're going to do exactly what we've done so far. We're going to Google it and we're going to replace the what, which was telescope, with Schmidt telescope. So if we go back to Google, here we go, we're going to put what? We're going to put Schmidt telescope and we need the quotation marks because this is going to be in this specific order. And we have again the where, Berlin, and the when, 1953. And there we go, let's check it out. And because I just want to see photos, let's just go straight to the images. And there were a couple of them that immediately got my attention. This one and this one, both of them from Getty Images. I keep finding good stuff on Getty Images. It's amazing, it's from 1953 and we're still getting there. So it's not there immediately. Come on, why didn't you just open it for me? Okay, here we go. One and two next to each other. Much easier. Okay, and what we have here, it's the telescope again. Look at that. And now I can see perfectly clear that it is being assembled. Look at that. They're opening, they're doing things, whatever they do. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no idea how you would build a telescope, but they seem to be doing, and that's what we want. This is what we're looking for. In fact, it's quite interesting because I'm always digging for stuff. Look at that, it's the plants. I mean, you could probably increase this, change the contrast and whatever, and, and get a very nice image of this. If I ever wanted to build a telescope, but that's not in my plans just yet, so we don't need that. But bottom line is we have this image we have this image and we have this image. And all of them would be the correct answer to the first task, which was photo that matches the description of the caption report that we saw here from the CIA agent. And now for the second one, we need to find the exact location of where the telescope was placed once completed. So we know that the telescope was assembled at the Escania factory in Berlin, but it was eventually going to be sent to the University of Bonn. And we already have this information because we found it somewhere. It was here. Look at that. Oh, where is it? Okay, let's scroll a bit. Okay, here we go. It does tell us already. It says there it was positioned on Tower 1 of the O'Hare list. I have no idea how to pronounce this again. But I do remember seeing this word right at the top. So let's just quickly find it. At the top, you can see there is yellow. So I'll just scroll all the way there. It's much faster. Here we go. It says there the location of this place. We have the latitude and we have the longitude. And that's all we need to start finding the location. So I have copy pasted the coordinates. So I basically copy pasted this section and this section. Everything else you can just ignore it. And let's go to Google Maps, which I have here somewhere. Here we go there. And we're going to drop this. And here we go. Let's put some pictures. And this is the observatory. Now, if you're thinking, here we go, we found it. The second one is done. No, it's not done because we need to know the exact location. We were told that it was on Tower 1. We need to figure out which one is Tower 1. So how do we figure out? We go back to this place. This place has photos. So chances are it has a photo of Tower 1. Here we go, Tower 1. There's a photo of it. So now what we need to do, we need to find this tower on Google Maps. And you can see that there's already enough information here to geolocate. This will be quite easy. 
I'm going to just put this window side by side because I love that. Okay, here we go. They're side by side. So what we need to find, there's this tower. This is tower one. There's the dome here. The wall is here. There's some interesting pattern on this tower. Like at some point there was some stairs here or something. And there's this white building and there's a really big tree here. So we can try to find out if by any chance in Germany we're going to have street view. We're not going to have street view because in Germany they don't really allow that too much. So we're not very lucky here. But I do remember seeing something here. Where was it? Here we go. Look at that. There is one, just one panoramic image. It says here is inside of this, but it's unlikely. They sometimes do that. It's incorrectly. But... Look at that. It's just some people having a very good time. <laughs> Look at that. They're just watching the stars. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so envious right now, but that's fine. Let's focus on the buildings and what we have here. The building. <laughs> it's the same tower. It's like, what are the chances? Literally the same tower. And we can confirm that. Look, the tree next to it, the tree there, the tower, the wall there, the wall. You can even see, look at that, the interesting pattern that maybe at some point was stairs. I don't know. But you can see this is a perfect, perfect match. But we still need to find this on the map. So we need to look at it panoramic great so we're going to look at it and see if we can memorize any interesting details an interesting detail i see here is that there is a path so it's a very clear path it goes down and there is some building here so this is on its own there's also a dome there perhaps there's another telescope inside i'm not sure how these things work but there's a massive tree here right next to where the entrance is there's a big tree as well there and there you go this is on its own on this side of the building unless there's something hiding there so let's go back to the map and see if we can find something that matches our criteria and it's not too hard to find is it so let's zoom 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 look at that the path to the entrance the big tree next to the entrance there's another tree there's the tower here this is this tower here you can see it there's the trees that were next to it a bit behind and when we turn remember there was a building on its own at the bottom and here it is so which are the coordinates of tower one these are the coordinates of tower one this is where the telescope was placed but if you thought okay we're all done we found all the answers what we're looking for yes and no yes we did find the coordinates but no we're not done because we still need to verify this information we have a website here that claims that this telescope was inside tower one and we have found which is allegedly tower one but all our information came from the same source so it's always best to find additional sources to corroborate our conclusions. I may have a tendency to over verify things to be fair, but it's always best to be safe than sorry. And it's another opportunity to show stuff. So it's good. Okay. So I figured that I would be happy with finding some data showing the actual telescope inside this tower. That would be enough and it would be an additional source, obviously, assuming that's not coming from the same website. So I decided to search for a video of the telescope in this observatory. So basically, I want some sort of evidence that inside this tower, there was this telescope that we have seen in the photos being assembled in 1953. And because we're looking for a video, I obviously went to YouTube. And because I just like to keep it simple, I just searched for observatory hoher list. Okay, so there's a few results. The first one is only 17 seconds. I'm going to skip that one and I'm going straight to this one because I see the tower here and this is the tower we're looking for remember okay so I have fast forwarded to the correct location where the telescope is going to show up and gentleman is going to talk about it I put the captions on they automatically translated to English so there may be some issues with it but hopefully not and you can see here there you go we have again tower one of this observatory and this is what we're going to be looking for let me play and what does it say with the cut mirror at the observatory? Look at that. So it's a bit of a mistranslation, but you can see observatory oh her list. So it's a oh her list observatory one. So they're referring to probably in the tower one. And let's click it again. And what do we see here? It's the telescope. Like one, move it. Want to see the rest of it? And off we go. Remember this massive round thing that they have there? And let's pause it again. Remember there was some opening there and a big opening there. So you can see the openings as well. And you can see the thing I described as a tube. <laughs> That's a lens of some sort, I'm sure, at the top here. So there we go. We have another 
piece of evidence that supports our claim that yes, this is the correct telescope. It was placed on the first tower and there we go. We can finally conclude this, that the telescope was indeed placed on this tower, number one of the observatory that belonged to University of Bonn. And there you have it. We have geolocated it. We've done everything. We're now finally happy, at least I am happy, that we have enough proof of everything. I would put this on a report. So in conclusion, let's go back again. First task, photo that matches the description of the caption report. We found three, amazing, great. And then the exact location of where the telescope was placed once completed. Also found that, we found information of where it was, we found it, we geolocated it, and then we saw a video of it in the place that we had geolocated. So it can be 100% sure correct. We have succeeded, yay. Okay, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned a few things. There's a lot of very interesting documents at the CIA website. If you're ever in the mood for similar challenges, I had to make sure I picked one that was inoffensive enough so I wouldn't get in trouble. But if you do get in trouble, please don't rat me out. <laughs> have a nice day, thank you.